Today, I'm taking a look at a very small hand plane from Lee Nielsen, the 101 block plane. This plane from Lee Nielsen is called the Violin Maker's Plane, and it's simply a bevel up block plane. Uh, the plane itself is just over three inches long, just over an inch wide, and the plane blade itself is seven eighths inches wide. Now, despite its small size, it's really easy to adjust, and it's really easy to use one-handed or even two-handed. Uh, so it can handle a variety of tasks, albeit on the smaller side, around your shop. Let's go ahead and take a closer look at the parts. The plane itself is made of manganese bronze, which gives a uh, great weight to the plane and also helps prevent rust. Lever cap pops off here uh, with uh, this knurled knob, just re releasing that, comes off easily, and then the plane blade slips out, uh, 7 8 inches wide by an eighth inch thick uh, A2 steel and it is honed at a 25 degree angle. Of course, you can add a slight micro bevel to the very front of it, which makes uh, honing that very fast and easy. Depth adjuster here on the back, uh, this knurled knob, and the plane itself has a bed uh, at 18 degrees, so that makes for a total of 45, uh, 42 degree uh, angle for the plane. Of course, if you add a micro bevel, you can increase that by a couple degrees. But I'm finding that 42 uh, is a great angle for this uh, for both end grain and uh, face grain. It's working uh, really well with zero tear out. Simply pop the blade back in, uh, tighten this knob. Do not over tighten this, uh, just enough to put a little bit of pressure on there, and that will keep the plane blade in place. Now, the blade can be laterally adjusted just a little bit. There's a little bit of play left to right so that you can, um, of course, you want to hone it straight across, but you get a little bit of play to make sure that you can adjust it so you're cutting the same depth both at the left and right. Easy depth adjustment, as I mentioned here at the back. Uh, loosen knob a little bit, push it forward, and go ahead and tighten it up and dial it in just where you want it. The plane blades from Lee Nielsen come very sharp, but of course a little bit of extra honing will help. And once I've honed that uh, and put it back into the plane, I like to adjust all my planes this way by grabbing a thin scrap of wood and then go ahead and take shavings from the left and from the right of the blade. And what I'm looking for is obviously consistent shavings uh, of the thickness that I want depending on the setup for my plane. This is actually in pretty good shape here, but let me go ahead and um, usually I will have it not take a shaving at all. So run it down there, no shavings, and then I'll go ahead and sneak up on the depth that I want. Just advancing the neural knob slightly each time, still no cuts. Sometimes I have to loosen the lever cap in order to make sure uh, my adjustment is smooth. You wanna uh, snug the lever cap on there but you don't want it to be too tight. It just is holding the, the plane blade in place. There, I'm barely taking a little bit, just a little more advancement. And there I've got a very small shaving coming out of the left and no shaving uh, coming out of the right. So I'll go ahead and just move it over a little bit. Small amount coming out of the right and the left now. Advance it slightly, I get a little bit thicker shaving, and that's in pretty good shape, ready to go. Now that we've got our little block plane set up, let's go ahead and take some shavings from, this is end grain of maple here, hard maple. <laughs> And you can see that those shavings just popping off there. Um, pretty clean, pretty good. I could probably hone this blade a little bit more. And of course, I totally just took out the end uh, of my maple here. You definitely want to make sure you take off chamfer that end so you're not blowing out your grain uh, as you come through the end. And this little plane here does a great job. Now you can also see I'm using two hands, even with this really small uh, plane, which is very much smaller than my hands, I can go ahead and put um, some good pressure down here on the front. I love this little knob here on the front and then guide the plane with the rest of my hand there at the back. Here is the tiny 101 next to a slightly larger 102, which is a low angle 
uh, bevel up block plane. And this is the one I've been using around my shop for the last couple of years and absolutely love. And it's the uh, bigger cousin to this new one here. So this is what I would typically have been using here on this end grain. And you can see shavings coming off there, a little bit smoother and easier to push. Um, this plane being a little bit bigger mass and also slightly lower angle. I'm going to get better shavings, especially in this uh, hard maple here. Uh, this guy, again, is going to be better at slightly smaller tasks. This is uh, almost 3 8 inches wide, uh, which is quite a bit of a chunk for this small plane to take. Now, where you're obviously most going to be using this in one hand, working on small edges of boards, uh, it's going to be great for just getting in there and just putting that little micro bevel along an edge or working on some really small pieces. Fits great uh, overhand grip, uh, finger on the front, the rest, or however it's most comfortable. There's a lot of different ways uh, to grip this plane and run it right along your board and dial it in and take exactly the shavings that you're looking for. And again, compared to the 102 here, uh, you can certainly use that along edges, but the 101 uh, just really can get in there uh, more delicately and easily, and especially if you're working with something that's not quite straight and flat, uh, the shorter bed length is going to work better for making that bevel exactly consistent all the way along the edge. That is a really cool small block plane. Another application I will absolutely be using this small block plane for is for flushing down my inlay. When I just want to take those little shavings one at a time until I get that inlay exactly down to my piece of wood. So that is the Lee Nielsen 101 bevel up block plane. There's not a ton for me to show you. It's a very straightforward block plane, albeit very small. What I wanted to get across is really the size of this, especially compared to some other hand planes, uh, block planes that you might be familiar with, and also how you can hold it in one hand, uh, or you can even use this with a two-handed grip. Just as with other bevel up planes, uh, it's very versatile. You can grab an extra blade, you can put them at different angles, useful for end grain, face grain, uh, different applications, uh, and it can really help minimize your tear out, which is very important in small blades like this because you just wanna go straight off the blade, straight to your finish, or maybe a really high grit sandpaper. Um, and so you can't be cleaning up any little tear out with the small shavings that this is going to be leaving behind. So make sure you get your blade razor sharp. Having extra blades uh, can be helpful for different angles. Also, Lee Nielsen sells a toothed blade for this hand plane. I found tooth blades to be really awesome, especially for woods that are prone to tearing out. Um, so you might have applications for this small plane where you want to have that tooth blade also. Now, I absolutely love my Lee Nielsen 102, and the 101 is just a smaller version that's going to be easier to store in your pocket, easier to pull out, and quickly use when you need it. <music>